Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. Uh, it's been a long day here. I've been working my hands down to the bones here on getting the floors and stuff squared away downstairs in the room, but it's getting there and taking a little breather here and bringing some news. Now, one thing that's... um. I love doing what I do with Joe Boo Sports Report and doing the game. You know, it's cool because, you know, I've got, you know, if you've ever seen some of the videos where I showed you what the set looks like, like right now in front of me, I have actually three monitors. OK, at home, there's actually four. And then now with YouTube uh, TV, you know, I've got five games that are going on at the same time. So you literally have to have your head on a swivel like it's you're playing a game almost. And of course, you've got people out of there. I got my man DMV, you know, I got E2 Blue, Comic Relief and everything else. And them boys kick and, you know, and everybody else. And sometimes uh, Master Sergeant Daniel and, you know, we got Rashid literally passed out, you know, because the giant and stinks so bad and stuff so you've got all that stuff and i got to do the big sub so sometimes it's hard to actually watch the game and get the intricacies of it and because we've been doing so much work here at the red brick house um, i would love to be able to just sit down and just break down film watch the whole 22 and do some of the film breakdown but i just don't have enough time to do that so i'm relying on others and one of the things that i missed you know, because the, the trolls out there, they constantly always are looking to try and find something to hit the Cowboys with. You know, we've heard them constantly talk about, you know, our draft sucks, you know, because they got Jalen Carter and Jalen Carter is the truth. He is freaking insane. Um, but our rookie class thus far hasn't done a whole lot, at least not until this game. Um, Mozzie Smith, the problem for Mozzie is uh, twofold. One is Hankins has been playing outstanding. And we actually have a lot of defensive linemen. And so getting playing time, you know, Mozzie Smith may have been more of a want than a need in the draft. Um, because, you know, you could look at it and say, you know, we've got a guy who's a starter. We've got, you know, Ausi and D Digazua and things. We got Gallimore who was playing pretty well this week and stuff. And so Mozzie is kind of lost in the numbers game. And this is one of those picks that maybe down the road is going to be really, really great. And of course, you are now in the NFL, which the speed is just unbelievable from what you faced in college not everybody's a Jalen Carter or a Micah Parsons that come out of the box but this week against the Giants I know it was only against the Giants the Giants offensive line is not good and stuff so I will say tamp your expectations down but going into this game Mozzie Smith had um, five combined tackles okay uh, three solos two assists one tackle for a loss, no quarterback hits. And understand, we're talking about a nose tackle, okay? I, I still want to say nose guard, but so many things have changed from when I played football back in the day. You know, the guy who was basically head up on the center was a nose guard. That's what they called him. They don't use that terminology anymore. Um, you know, also, too, they don't have a wedge anymore in kickoffs or, you know, a wedge buster like I was and stuff because they said it's too damn dangerous and caused brain damage. So, you know, when I go off and go crazy and stuff, we might want to look back to head trauma from back in the day. So going into this game, five tackles, OK, uh, three solos and uh, two assists and one tackle for loss. This game was kind of his breakout game. He ended up with a tackle for a loss. He got his first quarterback hit. He had three solo tackles, the big man. And to put this in perspective, you know, Micah Parsons is a little upset because Micah Parsons, he didn't get any tackles. He didn't get any sacks. So Mozzie Smith actually recorded more tackles than Micah Parsons. And so all of a sudden, Okay, we're getting a little bit. Now, I want to point out something else that's kind of interesting to me, um, or maybe interesting to you guys. Think back to Michael Gallup's rookie year. Okay, Michael Gallup played, had a great rookie year. The first half, not so much, but he came on in the second half. 
And typically, Micah Parsons was good his rookie year, the first half. But the second half, he took it to a whole nother level. So this may be one of those cases where Mozzie Pad, as you Eagle fans like to call him, Mozzie Smith starts coming on later in the season. And the good thing about that, if that's the case, if he can spell Hankins, he's got a, got fresh legs. He's got a fresh motor. He's young. And that bears well for us going late in the season. So maybe, just maybe, our rookie class isn't quite as bad as everybody's made out to be. And in fact, now you're beginning to see Schoonmaker on the field more now and doing more and more things that as this time goes on and hopefully uh, we have the Carolina game and hopefully we have another blowout like we did against the Giants and then we have the Washington game. Hopefully we don't do Washington like the Eagles did where they literally could have lost both of those games that we go in we take care of business and we can get these young guys in there more giving them some time to get reps to be better for the stretch run going down the season and if the Cowboys have been able to be six and three which they are without any help from their rookie class if the second half if Mozzie can go through you know get us another you know say 10 12 tackles and a couple quarterback hits and clug up the middle if schoonmaker can you know start kind of being that good blocking tight end get us a few catches and things maybe a touchdown or two all these things add up for us as the stretch run comes and as december gets here i'm excited because two things that have been our problems in the playoffs i know when people want to say our problems are only dak prescott but that's not the case the two problems that we've had with the Cowboys, the biggest glaring problems are stopping the run in December. I mean, in February, January, and February, you need to be able to stop the run and running the football. Schoonmaker being on the field with 12 personnel helps us in that running game. Amazi Smith, if he can get himself together and can be that heavy man in the middle along with the other big heavies and the big nasties we have, that half ton of fun. That will bode well when we have to play teams that can run the football. So there you have it. Mozzie Smith beginning to turn things around. And um, we'll see. So Eagles, you know, uh, I know how you guys love to come up with nicknames for all of our Dallas Cowboys players and stuff and tell us that they just stink. Well, maybe Mozzie Smith isn't as bad as everybody thinks he is and that uh, – He's going to do some damage. Fuck them birds. Fly, eagles, fly. Now nah, we shoot those birds out of the sky. Stupid dumbasses managed to give up a third and 30 to my sexy arm. Pathetic defense and team. No wonder I own those piece of shit frauds every damn year. Don't get me started on the fans. You boo me while I earned a respected award. Losing the Super Bowl was just karma for you fuckheads. I can't wait to drop 100 on your heads next season while...